Joel Kaplan isn't your friend, he isn't your buddy. Charlie Morgan isn't your buddy, he's not your friend. I did SMMA for eight months, I tried it, I got suckered in like a little sucker. <laughs> I just graduated uni and I wanted to get rich, that was the truth. I no longer hold these views anymore, I've totally changed my perspective on money and what I want and everything. I, I really don't want it. But regardless, I tried SMMA for eight months, probably nine months really. Um, it was a complete waste of time, I got suckered into Charlie Morgan and Joel Kaplan's like free content, I got on their courses through nefarious means. Um, these guys really are not your buddies so I just want to show you what I mean by that and, and I know this will burst the bubble of a lot of you guys um, but I'm going to show you guys just, just what I mean by that here's Joel Kaplan's YouTube channel this my friends is what we call like kind of clickbait content right he's got so many videos how to get clients because getting clients is one of the hardest bits and it's one of the first bits of SMA right Start SMA in 2023, no bullshit cause, you're not poor, how to build the first millionaire in your family. Do you see how he's targeting, he's deliberately targeting your pain points as a young person, a young naive person, right? Now, he's got all of these buzzwords, like this one's very obvious, like he's a, he's a marketer, right, i.e. liar. How to start a AI SMA with zero dollars, free course. Like, come on. And, and here's the thing, right, let me talk to you. When you are desperate for money and when you're desperate for like success or like you're a young guy you don't really know what to do and you're just looking at this guy's an older guy he's telling you how to get money you don't have to, you have to pay money to star like it's very alluring the title is very alluring and in that period of kind of desperation and strong desire it's very easy to overlook a lot of this shit it's like with with like internet porn right on porn sites they will have the most stupid ads on there like what play this free porn game that'll make you come in 30 seconds and people actually click on that shit why because in that moment of frantically searching through pornographic content you will inevitably you will be in a bit if you're in that position of heavy desire and a thing pops up which can just uh, kind of like give you that glitz give you that kind of target to focus your desire on you're gonna click on it even if it seems a bit nefarious a bit dodgy and this Joel Kaplan guy is no different. He's hitting your pain points and it's so irresponsible because he knows that the people that are attracted to SMMA are young, kind of impressionable men. A lot of the time it's coming from financially damaged backgrounds or who are otherwise desperate. And he's deliberately targeting you, targeting you here. And he's got these other videos like, here we are, how I earn six figures at 15 years old all of this shit, like, how this SMA makes a 1k as a dropout, like, um, like, exposing the 300, is that 300 million? 300 million SMA, he's not exposing anything there, right, that's like, the word exposed is like a um, buzzword, he is creating manipulative content, manipulative content out here, and here's the thing, he comes across as your friend in the videos, he comes across as your friend, now, as humans, we are very much like, if we see someone on the screen who really seems friendly, it's going to feel like he's being friendly towards us when really it's a pre-recorded video. I know this sounds really dumb, but like, you might watch this video, you might feel like I'm being friendly towards you. My friend, you're watching a recording. I'm not insulting your intelligence. I fell for this massively. Um, it seems like he's your friend, but his primary objective is to get money out of you. And it seems obvious and people will brush over this as if it's trivial like oh yeah of course it is he's a businessman right but if his primary objective is to get money out of you like doesn't that imply a disparity between your desires and his desires his objective is to get you into his coaching program and he said it himself like Iman Gadzi is his number one competitor in the coaching niche Right, the SMA coaching niche. Iman Gandhi is having people create the hundreds of SMAs every month. Joel Kaplan, the hundreds of SMAs are getting being created every month. This market is so saturated, you have no idea the amount of pure saturation. It barely gets talked about. Joel Kaplan will show you a disproportionate amount of the glitz and the success he won't show you the 99% of failures and you might be like again of course that's obvious but 
just think about it. Like, think about it. Think. Everyone's doing the same fucking thing. Everyone has the same offer. No one can create a better offer than anyone else because people are fundamentally limited by their ability to actually get, you know, do service delivery. Businesses have been hit up countless times. You have no idea. And also, what they don't talk about is how unenjoyable an SMA is. If you want to get good, like do an SMA and be good at it, you're going to be in this for the long run, doing, giving gears of your life away to this shit just for pure cash. Wouldn't you rather invest your time into something that you actually care about? I know it sounds stupid, but in my mind, right, I thought, oh, I'll do SMA for a year or two, get to 10k a month, then I'll retire and I'll start doing what I really care about. That was a complete kind of it's, it's fantasy delusion written by these fucking idiots on the internet, like Joel Kaplan, like Charlie Morgan. Charlie Morgan's even worse, by the way. I think Charlie Morgan's way worse than Joel Kaplan. He's a real demon. Demon. Good Lord. These people are like um, wolves in sheep's clothing. Pretend to be nice to you, but they just wolf you. They just take your money. They, these guys are heartless business people, really. And they, it's the fact they're nice, they're nice to you on camera. That's what does me in the most. Guys, like, deception is one of the best kind of... Like, it, it just, it, it can it just get you. Like, it's fucked. It, even an intelligent guy like me, I, I like to think of myself as intelligent. I've always, always done well in academia and stuff, but, like, you, you will fall for this shit. And I really do feel for you if you're in the point where, like, you're struggling with money and you want to get good at SMA with it. Don't do SMA. Do it. Do, do yourself a favour. Don't do SMA. Do something you'll get. Get a job just to pay for the pay the bills for now and work on something you're passionate about in the meantime and really get good at that thing you're passionate about become a real expert at it and that would be my that would be my thing you know i don't do this smma bullshit there's so many guys doing this Imad gadzi and joe kaplan and charlie morgan they're all they're creating hundreds of smas a month and don't get my main point is well, don't get fooled, fooled by this glitz glamour that joe kaplan is talking about you you'll see successes on the channels you won't see failures when you get into the groups like facebook groups and you see people on there struggling for months and months and months not making money like and you realize that this is the reality and that you're gonna have to commit years of your lives to fucking marketing which is bullshit if you're really passionate about marketing and that's your thing you're passionate about sure but for me if you're just looking to get paid don't do this <laughs> Turns out I don't want to get paid anyway. I, you know, this is part of learning in your twenties as well. I think like reprioritizing, having goals, and rethinking stuff. But Charlie Morgan and, and um, Joe Kaplan, these these guys are real demons. Do not do not fall for this glitz. That there on the screen, that's glitz. Yeah, glitz, sparkle, marketing, front, the billboard. Don't fall for it, man. Don't be a mug. Don't start an SMA. Do yourself a favor. Stay away from it.